So my only question I can't find is how does it feel to play this on easy? Is it easy and essentially hack and slash or not? That's a damn good question, so let's find out. I'm going to experiment and feel the difference between easy, normal, and hard modes on Rise of the Ronin for you guys, just to give you a clear picture on what you can expect from the different difficulties. Now, easy mode is called Dawn, normal mode is called Dusk, and hard is called Twilight, just so you know. Can you tell the difference between these gameplays right here? Let's see if you're right by the end of the video. So here we are at a random public order encounter. And first things first, there's a cat. So let's go ahead and get that real quick. Did I even get it? I don't even know, but well, let's proceed. I'm going to go ahead and apply some skill points and put on the best gear I have just naturally like I would. And let's go ahead and try this on the hardest difficulty. So we're gonna go to Twilight and I want you guys to be able to see how much damage I'm taking as well as how fast it is to die. The parry window also feels much smaller, which of course is not a surprise. You'll see that too. Uh, well, maybe I'll feel it. You guys will see it. I ended up running into this big dude right here. Like, who is this? So I decide to throw a fire barrel at him and it barely does anything like literally did nothing. He eats me alive after this. So I tried him again and was able to parry a random bullet that came at me accidentally. So I'm thinking, oh, this will help. Yeah, right, not exactly. There's just too many enemies that came out of nowhere. And I aid this guy because why not? Let's go ahead and die together because there's no way we're surviving this. I'm in a panic. Stamina is gone so fast and I'm fighting for my life here. And the big guy, again, comes after me. He had me so panicked that I accidentally got on my horse. I don't know what's going on. I tried to do my best for you guys and survive this encounter, but this dude just took it too far. It's a good thing we saw him though, because I'm going to come back to him on easy mode and you're gonna see a clear difference. So here I am fighting him on easy mode. I try the barrel thing again, and here we have the most OP street lamp in the history of video games. Like what the heck? Nonetheless though, I'm not worried. This is easy mode after all, and look at this. It's such a huge difference. I'm not even playing that great, and I'm just casually surviving this encounter. I get in a couple parries here, I slice him up pretty good, but even on easy mode, he does have a lot of health, as you can see. And it did feel more hack and slashy, but I still had to parry and worry about stamina a bit. I can tell when my character was slowing down, that stamina factor was still there, but I never really technically ran out. So it never felt like I'm just doing myself such a disservice for hacking and slashing as I would on normal and hard modes. But even so, you know, with the stamina running out, I recover really fast and I'm able to do more hacking and slashing, as you can see. And he was really no problem. Another thing that I noticed is when you do go to easy mode, you have different options to turn on here that are not accessible on the other modes. So for instance, you have one where you can increase health recovery from medicine. And then the second one is you can have reduced key loss from attacks. These are two very big deals here. I ended up turning those on just to see how that feels. And I'm telling you, the stamina struggle is almost non-existent. I felt like I was never really going to the point of being staggered. And even when it was this low, I was not staggered. So you can see there, I'm still fighting away. <laughs> I'm still good. So there's a clear difference there that makes it much more easier if you turn these options on. And it definitely can feel more hacky and slashy as the uh, viewer on my video was asking. That's what they're kind of looking for, I suppose. So to answer that question, yes, it does make it more hacky slashy, but you still have to worry about pairing. You still have to dodge. You can't just keep pressing one button over and over and over because eventually you're gonna go low on stamina. You're gonna make a mistake and you're gonna get hit. So it's, it's 
definitely more hacking and slashing than the other modes, but you still got to try a little bit <laughs> when it comes to the other moves and all of that. So I hope this helps. I hope this answers your question. And if anybody else was wondering this, and you just wanted to see some comparisons and see the different difficulties on this game. It's pretty interesting to see, right? Because when it comes to games like the Souls franchise, for example, and the Neo Wulong, we didn't have difficulty options there. So to see it in a game like this, it's interesting to see. And I could clearly feel differences between them. So yeah, it was a fun little experiment here. I hope it helped. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.